Hi, Connect. We are chilling with Nati, who walked from Guyani to Cape Town in 40 days. And we just want to know what motivated, what, ins- what inspired, actually, you to walk from Guyani to Cape Town. <laughs> How many kilometers is that? Um, one, 1,978 mm. kilometers. Almost 2,000. Almost 2,000. How come you're still alive? Grace, I don't know, the grace from God, but uh, I don't know myself. I'm still trying to figure out how, how I'm actually still so healthy. After Did you train for it? Did you do anything, some form of exercise? Because I feel like that needs you to be actually like very fit. It does, eh? Um, but the training was more, was more psychological. Um, I didn't get the opportunity to train as I would have liked to. Uh, but that's based on the fact that we were organizing everything. We were traveling from Guyana to Cape Town, Jobek, organizing everything, trying to get sponsors and so forth. So the time to actually sit down and have a proper schedule, it wasn't there. So luckily, it was my third walk. So I think that contributed a lot, you know. Okay, can you tell us like a bit about the first and second walk, since this is your third walk? Okay, our first walk started 2004. 15, sorry, 2014, where we walked from Johannesburg to Bloemfontein. I uh, did that in six days. Oh, I was very angry there. <laughs> I did that in six days. Uh, we were nine, nine days on the road. We were walking for a, a home called uh, Door of Hope Children's Mission, where they take care of unwanted babies. And then uh, 2015, we walked from Bloemfontein, where we stopped the previous year, all the way to PE. And then we added about 268 kilometers to the previous kilometers that we did. Uh, there we were walk, walking to build a library in Orange Farm. We were working with, um, uh, through Penn Foundation, where we also raised school shoes, um, build a meds and science center in, in a church field. Uh, yeah, and then 2016, we had planned to do the Guiani to Cape Town walk, uh, but family stuff, uh, my grandma got sick, so I had to go back home. Hence, now we did it in 2017. So obviously you trained on social media and people were retweeting your tweets and they were liking your tweets. But like beyond that, did you get any support? We have Kaya FM, which donated about 30,000 mm-hmm. towards the cause. And then we have Anonymous, who donated 20,000. <laughs> and then um, from the public, the general public, we have about maybe five point something. And then we had SMS line, which uh, about 1,300 people um, SMS, and then that costed 10, uh, sorry, 10 rand per SMS. So that amounted to almost 13,000. And then we have 20,000 bricks that we received. Well, we haven't received, it's a pledge, we must go and knock. It seems like you do this walking thing every year so next year there's gonna be another walk yes. <laughs> if i want to walk with you guys and i'm just like this is very inspirational and i'd like to change you know mm. lives myself but the only thing that i can do is actually walk how mm. can i join you guys okay exciting news exciting news is that um this year we're gonna walk again oh is it but the good news is that we're gonna walk from miami to new york we're looking between october and feb um, between October and Feb, because the weather, weather condition that side is different. So, but for me, that's a challenge. So, uh, I'm excited for that. So, we're busy with preparations for that. Five tips on how I can prepare for a, a walk. A walk. Basically, yeah. Okay. First one, pray. Pray. Yeah. <laughs> First one, pray that you stick. You, 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 you are consistent in what you do. And then, secondly, allocate the time each day where you're going to do something for the next 20 days and do it every day at that specific time. Okay. Um, so that that's discipline in a way. And then third, have a proper team around you. You know, um, Look at your friends. Are they adding to your life or are they taking from your life? You know. And then uh, fourth, I would say um, put a smile on someone's face for just allocate five people and just say something nice we'll just put drinking water as the last one <laughs>